This is the Basement Kitchen Show. Today on the Basement Kitchen Show, we're going to be not doing not one, but two product reviews. We have the New Wave Pro Plus and the best uh, gourmet seasoning you'll ever taste. Uh, the person who makes this seasoning right here has a YouTube channel that is a lot better than mine, so you should check it out. It's Cooking with Jack Show. Before we focus on New Wave, um, we're going to see what difference is between this one and the old one that I have. I got this one because, well, it's different for one thing. Um, if you can see right here, it's got a warming feature and a delay timer. The delay timer, it seems to be for if you're working and everything, you press that and it will start um, on a few hours before you're going to cook, before you're going to come home from work or somewhere else. And a warming feature to keep your food warm. So that may or may not be good. Um, I will um, talk about that later once I try that out at some point. The um, extension ring is steel instead of plastic like the old one, so that's a little different. Now this right here dome and everything, it's not clear. Um, I thought it was a reinforced model, but everything in the manual that came with it said it didn't, it didn't show anything that it was. So I'm just going to think that this is the original one, but it has a different color. So. Um, now that we're checking over it, it's got this right here stand, feet, a stand so you can, put the, can hold this right here when you open this. Now one thing that I noticed when, about that's different from the um, old um, non-stick grit um, thing that's underneath here is this. That would be annoying very fast. The original doesn't do this and I'm going to show you in a minute. The original one and it also came with this right here smaller stand which this one didn't come with I don't know why but listen to this that's what it should look like sound like not like not like that that is a big mistake right there so the camera person thought it'd be pregnant to throw to um come close and knock this over and but it didn't break so so this led credence that this may be the reinforced model Rather, this um, is still working right here. The dome head remains to be seen. So if it's broken, I'm sorry. Now, this right here seasoning you can get on online at Walmart and everything. He has a teriyaki sauce and a barbecue sauce and a hot version as well, which um, I don't like hot food, so I haven't tried that one yet. But barbecue sauce is pretty good. The teriyaki is very good as well. I think it's a little bit better than the original. It's like a, it's, it's, it's not like the original um, that you see in stores. It's more like, um, it's, it's, it's thick, like molasses and everything. So we're going to try this and everything and see if it's good. We have a Cornish hen um, breast side down. And we're going to have this uh, cooking so it will be defrosted. Then we're going to put the um, uh, Jack's uh, seasoning on this. Um, so in conclusion, um, the power dome head seems to have only two temperatures, 350 and 100, which I don't think the original had. Also, I put aluminum foil because I'm lazy and I don't want to clean as much. Um, the season on, on the on the Cornish hen is, is pretty good. It's very good. I just buy it. You can find it at Walmart on their website. Also, um, would I recommend to buy this? It's not, I don't think it's as good as the original, but if you do get one of Chris, I'd say keep it. This has been the, this has been the Basement Kitchen Show. Um, subscribe on my channel and share on Facebook. Or any other place that you have on the internet you want to. See you later.